COVID-19 has laid bare something that we have already known for a long while. Uh, as uh, clear in the whole nature of the Cooperative Security Initiative, uh, COVID-19 highlights the fact that uh, most of the problems that we face are actually of a transnational nature. Uh, a pandemic is by definition a challenge, a threat that knows no borders and that requires cooperation across borders. And so although there is a temporary solution to this crisis, which requires the putting up of borders, not only between countries, but within countries and indeed uh, between individuals through social distancing, it is clear that in order to be effective, this closure not only has to be temporary, but above all, it has to be coordinated, it has to be cooperative. It also highlights how important it is to actually share knowledge, share best, best practices between one another. Uh, in Europe, and in fact globally, but uh, clearly within Europe in which the concentration of population uh, is so high and there is so much uh, movement and transaction of goods, of services, uh, of people uh, between our borders, it is absolutely essential that an organisation such as the OSC focuses on what are essentially the security dimensions of this crisis, uh, be it aspects that are concerned with civil protection uh, and be it uh, with aspects that have to do with the digital realm and in particular how are our democratic societies uh, going to deal with the very difficult uh, challenges and choices that will have to be made uh, between uh, uh, health, public health uh, in particular, uh, and of course privacy on the other. So the security uh, rights uh, dilemma being applied to the case of how to deal most effectively, but also democratically, uh, with a pandemic such as this. There is not one clear answer to a question such as this, and it is therefore only through cooperation, uh, through shared information, through the information, expertise and best practice that we can collectively come out of this crisis together.